Yes, I'll marry you, my dear. And here's the reason why. So I can push you out of bed when the baby starts to cry. And if we hear a knocking, and it's creepy and it's late, I hand you the torch you see, and you investigate. Oh, it's not that, it's not. I do see great advantages, but none of them for you. And so before you see the light, I do, I do, I do. There's a wonderful tradition called gate crashing, in which the groom has spent the morning trying to collect his bride and has been refused time and again. But part of this is um, a custom which helps to remind bride and groom of different aspects of life and marriage. Chris, Dan, Mike, thank you for being there for me over the years. The lessons learned from the successes and failures of your own love lives have been key in making this, <laughs> this success out of my own. A happy marriage is about three things. Memories of togetherness, forgiveness of mistakes, and a promise never to give up on each other. True love stands by each other on good days and stand even closer on bad days. As well as a wife, today I am also gaining a family. I promise to try and remember the names of the hundreds of family members who we see every Chinese New Year. I am also appreciative for the daughter that you have raised. I am sure we all agree that she looked truly radiant today, but you have also built her from the inside out. You have provided the platform which enabled her to pursue her ambitions and become the woman I love today. I hope you are aware of just exactly how much I love you, how very proud I am of the lovely young lady you have become, it was my honour and privilege to have walked you down the aisle today. Leonie, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Now for the most important person here today, my wife Leonie. She is beautiful. Secondly, she is forgiving. If I take you back to our initial interactions, those who know me will not be surprised that they were not exactly stellar. Apparently the impression I left was one of being sloppy, messy, and obsessed with work with my prawn-covered hands constantly reaching out to check my Blackberry. <laughs> Thirdly, she is kind and caring. I still remember the birthday surprise that you gave me two years ago, the amazing three-course meal with that fantastic chocolate cake, which you have never, ever reproduced. <laughs> Leonie, you have managed to open up David's wallet. <laughs> you have also opened up his heart. Yoni is the first person I ever spoke to about the future. The joy and delight of it was that when we spoke of it, we found that much of it was shared. And so now it is my delight that we can put those plans into action. Leone, I know I'm an infuriating person to be with, but I do love you very much, and I do believe that we are better and stronger together. The way we read each other's body language, finish each other's sentences, and pick the same things on the menu is amazing and reassuring. I am the luckiest man alive, and I'm looking forward to the rest of our lives together and all the amazing experiences to come. <laughs>